Yo guys, how is it going? I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. Welcome to episode 11 of season 3 of our Southampton career mode here on FIFA 21. In today's episode, we start away at Villa in the Premier League, and then we have our fifth group game in the Europa League at home to FCSB. And these final two group games are perfect opportunities to give some of the youngsters a go, and I'm definitely going to do it. So we kick off today's episode away at Villa. How have they started the campaign? After 12 games, they sit in 13th on 13 points. Not won many, not lost many, but they're drawing too many times. Two wins, seven draws, and only three losses. But it doesn't matter how well or poorly Aston Villa are doing because we are on a roll at the moment. After 12 games, we sit top of the table on 33 points. So let's go to Villa Park and see if we can make it nine league wins in a row. Possession for Aston Villa. Lovely pass into Eigerstein, and thankfully that forward pass gets intercepted. Now, Sorracho, Danny Ings, Sorracho once again, and it's decent play. Can we find Saar making a forward run beyond the Aston Villa defence? We almost can, but it's very good defending. Saar was almost through, and if he was, that definitely would have been 1 0 and his 10th Premier League goal of the season. But unfortunately, brilliant defending from the Villa man. 17 minutes gone and there hasn't been any chances yet but both defences have been really really solid but here Villa come down this left hand side target on the ball plays it short into Eigerstein and it's a good tackle and Eigerstein does whip in a cross and thankfully Twanzebe gets in the way and it's the first corner of the game after 20 minutes are Villa going to open the scoring it's a fantastic delivery McTominay with the header and thankfully it goes over the goal and out for a goal kick. First official chance away at goal. But thankfully, off target and it remains goalless. Romeo in possession. Saar, Danny Ings. Right hand side is Walker Peters and it's a very good pass from the striker. Walker Peters short into Saar on his left foot. Fantastic finish. Wow, we've opened the scoring at Villa Park after just 23 minutes God, what a finish such a sweet strike on his left foot Wow, it was pretty close to the goalkeeper, but the power beat him. And Saar has his 10th Premier League goal of the season. He's into double figures already. What a season that man is having. Yanazai on the ball for Aston Villa. Now Cash, short into McTominay. Cash once again. Villa upping the pressure here to grab the equalising goal just before the break. Decent play here from Darun, who... Somehow still has possession. He's gone past two of my players. He strikes it towards goal. It's a good save, but it's going to be a penalty. Oh, my God. It must have been a late tackle. I mean, come on. How is that a foul? That is ridiculous. Just before the break, Yanazai stepping up to make it 1-1. And it's a fantastic save from Livakovic to keep us in the lead. And it's a corner kick. Jack Grealish with it. Header from Watkins. And again, Livakovic in the way to deny Aston Villa a goal. Wow, what an ending to the first 45 minutes from Livakovic. Decent delivery once again. And we get it away and there should be the half-time whistle. We're going into the break at Villa Park. 1-0 up. Thanks to Livakovic. Two big saves to end the first 45. 
Watkins on the ball for Aston Villa. He's got support ahead of him and he finds it in Jack Grealish. Back into Watkins now. McTominay, bottom corner, 1-1. 58 minutes played, it's all square. And this is the only thing that's happened in the second 45 minutes so far. It hasn't been a great second half, but Aston Villa have drawn level. And it was very good play as well, my defence all over the place. Two centre-backs completely out of position, which left the big open gap for McTominay. And unfortunately, Livakovic couldn't deny Aston Villa once again. 58 minutes gone, all square at 1-1. Romeo in possession, for to Pellegrini. Now Obafemi, Nathan Redmond. Obafemi once again back through to Nathan Redmond and it's a fantastic pass into the winger with his first involvement in the game. He puts the ball in the back of the net. 20 minutes left on the clock and we've retaken the lead. It's Aston Villa 1, Southampton 2. The only things that have really happened in the second half are the two goals. And it was very good play between Obafemi and Nathan Redmond, who have both just come onto the pitch. An immediate impact from the subs. Darun in possession for Aston Villa. Eigerstein on this left-hand side, 15 minutes left to play. It's a decent delivery in, and Vestergaard gets it away. But Aston Villa are going to keep the move alive. Yanazai on the ball for the home side, across back in! And Twanzebe gets in the way of the shot, thankfully. Very good defending, top left, they've had five corners, I've had none. Decent delivery in, Yanazai with the header. And thankfully Livakovic gathers the ball and it remains 2-1. With just over 10 minutes left to play. Pedraza in possession for to Nathan Redmond. Now Obafemi. Just ahead of him is Pellegrini. It's not Pellegrini, it's Oxlade-Chamberlain. And unfortunately, it's not a great shot. And out for a goal kick. We have around 10 minutes to hold on to this lead for another three points. It's full time here at Villa Park and we've got the win. It wasn't a match full of action, especially the second half. But it's another victory for us. Although this wasn't a great performance. We do have Livakovic to thank for keeping us in the lead just before the break. If that penalty went in, it could have been a completely different result. Full-time result here, Aston Villa 1, Southampton 2. in possession Davis Proctor once again now Tommy Doyle can we find Joa Pedro yes we can and it's decent play from the strike and now Davis bottom corner 1-0 after just 10 and a half minutes brilliant start to this match Southampton 1 FCSB 0 Tommy Doyle on the ball for to Joa Pedro and it's a brilliant pass into the striker Buendia, overlap from Valerie. Now Joa Pedro, brilliant save from the keeper. Pedro with the follow-up, and it's a brilliant block. Wow, that would have been 2-0 after 16 minutes, but it was fantastic defending. He basically cleared off the line because it was going in. Unbelievable. And here they come on the move forward. Oh, the striker is completely done Wood. And he's still in possession, but Wood... Wins it back for us. Brilliant defending in the end from the young centre-back. Proctor in possession for Tejoa Pedro. Can we find Nathan Redmond making a forward run? Yes, we can. Redmond for 2-0 and it's a brilliant save. And I think Redmond got his head onto that but just didn't connect properly with it. Unbelievable. Tommy Doyle into the goal scorer. Now Joa Pedro and it's a decent first touch and a great second but the shot is woeful. And it goes high over the crossbar and it remains 1-0. Very, very dominating opening 25 minutes from us. So hopefully more goals to come and we can just take control of this match. 
Tommy Doyle, Kokache for to Nathan Redmond. Now Joa Pedro. Can we find Redmond once again? Oh, what a pass. Redmond for 2 0. And it goes wide. I really thought that was going into the top corner, to be honest. Oh, it's so close to being 2 0. Wow. It was a fantastic pass from Joa Pedro, though. Wow. Absolutely incredible. And Proctor is going to intercept that goal kick. Now Tommy Doyle, and somehow we're going to keep possession. Joao Pedro into Nathan Redmond. Can we keep possession? Yes, we can. The captain for this game has done very well. Nathan Redmond with the attempt, and it cracks off the crossbar. What a goal that would have been. Wow. Incredible strike. A little bit lower, keeper would not have got that. That would have been 2-0. 30 minutes gone. It's been all Southampton. But FCSB remain in this game. Trailing by just one goal to nil. Vigna on the ball for the away team. Finds Popescu. Now forward to Dimitru. Vigna is making a forward run, but he doesn't find him. And the shot gets blocked. Popescu forward to the striker. Now Vigna. Dimitru once again. Now Alaru with the shot. And thankfully Gunn is there. That is near post to make the save. Wow, their first attack, and it really should have been 1-1 to be honest, but they get the first corner of the game. Miron with the header, and it falls to Coleman, who puts it past Gunn for 1-1. They've grabbed the equalising goal totally against the run of play. Miron headers it. And I think it's a shot. I don't think it's a pass. He just didn't connect with the ball properly. And it falls to the winger. And it's a simple finish. And it's all square at 1-1 after 35 minutes. Tommy Doyle. Left-hand side is Kokache. Now Nathan Redmond. Joa Pedro. Redmond. Now Tommy Doyle. Redmond once again. Can we retake the lead after just conceding the equalising goal into Joa Pedro? Now Davis, Joa Pedro once again. It doesn't work out, but we are going to keep the move alive. Into Joa Pedro! Brilliant finish. And we've replied immediately. It's Southampton 2, FCSB 1. What a finish. The first touch was perfect. Just took it around the defender. And lashed it home. Keeper, no chance. Oh, actually, I don't know, you know. His hand was just below the ball. So if his hand, he did react in time, but his hand was just too low. A little bit higher from the keeper, his hand. And that would have been an incredible save. But thankfully, he didn't save it. Hits the back of the net. And we've retaken the lead. Vigna in possession for FCSB, over the top to Komen, and thankfully the pass is over here. And it's a throw in, Valerie with it, into Wood. Now Hayes, can we grab that third goal to completely bury this game? Tommy Doyle into Nathan Redmond, now Joa Pedro, I see Valerie making a forward run, and it's a fantastic pass once again from the young striker, Valerie. Left hand side is Nathan Redmond, now Kukarche. Across into the far post. It's a dangerous delivery. And Joa Pedro puts it away very, very nicely. I wasn't aiming for Joa Pedro. I'm not sure who it was at the far post. But that's who I was aiming for. I think it was Buendia. And it turned out to be a little dink. And I put quite a lot of power on it, to be honest. I was expecting it to be a whipped cross. But it was a little dink into Joa Pedro. And what a finish. And Joao Pedro is on a hat-trick. And that's his fourth Europa League goal of the season. Popescu on the ball. Forward to Alaru. Now Dimitru skips past Hayes. Alaru once again. Plays it into Anake. They're up in the pressure here to grab a goal back in this game. And it's a great tackle from Kokache. Tommy Doyle forward to Joao Pedro. Left-hand side is Nathan Redmond. Joe Pedro has continued his run. Right-hand side is Buendia all on his own. Surely for 4-1. Wow, what a finish. 
It's a rocket into the top corner. 67 minutes gone. It's Southampton 4. FCSB nil. Cool. Absolutely incredible finish from Buendia. I don't think any goalkeeper in the world would have saved that. And Buendia has his third Europa League goal this season. Tommy Doyle for to Nathan Redmond. Now Joa Pedro, Buendia. Joa Pedro once again. Nathan Redmond. Now Davis, Buendia. Davis to his left-hand side is Tommy Doyle. Davis forward to Joa Pedro looking for his hat-trick and he has it. What a finish into that bottom corner. 86 minutes gone. Hat-trick hero. Joa Pedro has made the score 5-1. Wow. Very, very good football. When you move the ball that quick, there's no stopping it. Unless it's a poor pass. And there wasn't a poor pass in that move. And what a way to end the move. Brilliant finish from Joa Pedro, who now has five Europa League goals this season. Joa Pedro is being the main man in Europe for us. What a performance and win. We were incredible. Played some great football in this match and scored some really nice goals. That man right there, Joa Pedro, turning up once again in a European game for us with a hat-trick. And I'm pretty confident he could grab the golden boot for the Europa League. Proctor done well in the middle as well. The 16-year-old had a really solid game, as did Hayes at centre-back. So, yeah, I'm really, really happy with this win. Full-time result here at the St Mary Stadium. Southampton 5, FCSB 1. So, after 13 games, we remain 7 points clear at the top. Man City and Man United both on 29 points. Chelsea in 4th on 25 points. West Ham in 5th also on 25 points. Two points behind Chelsea and West Ham are Wolves in 6th place. Liverpool 7th, Arsenal 8th and Arsenal in 9th. Those three clubs not having a great season whatsoever. At the bottom, Forest remain on 7 points. Sheffield United on 8 points. And Brighton on 11. But three other teams are also on 11 points. Everton, Burnley and Fulham. In the next episode, we have two Premier League games to end November. At home to Man United and then away at Leicester. So that is going to wrap up today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have an amazing day. Peace.